యాక్చువల్లీ మీరు ముందుగా మనం స్టార్టింగ్ దాంతోనే స్టార్ట్ చేసాం ఏఐజి అనగానే అందరూ గ్యాస్ట్రో ఎంట్రాలజీ దీని గురించి మీరు మొదటి నుంచి స్టార్ట్ చేసింది ఆ తర్వాత పరిణామ క్రమంలో ఏమేమి మనకు అందుబాటులో ఉన్నాయి ఏఐజిలో ఉన్న సేవలు యాక్చువల్లీ ఏఐజి హాస్పిటల్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ మీన్ ఐ బోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఏఐజి హాస్పిటల్ బీయింగ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫౌండర్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఏఐజి హాస్పిటల్ Uh, basically because we were able to get a lot of technology at the very reasonable cost to the patient and uh, i mean we were one of the hospitals who were successful in establishing gastroenterology both medical and surgical as a separate speciality and uh, maybe uh, go over cardiology which was the most happening speciality if you today if you see the most happening speciality is gastroenterology anywhere now oh. is the most happy we are very happy but actually ma dekar kuch aur what happened was in the uh, previous hospital we had the limitation of space and we didn't have the complete support of the other specialties see mm-hmm. what happened when you have the other specialties come in the medical care can be taken to a very high level so oh. so it all depends on so many people the type of cases that you can take up the type of procedures that can be done the support you get from these things is totally different and it takes to it a totally different level so i mean it it's a win win situation for all specialties actually mm-hmm. suppose any cardiac patient with gastroenterology problem they have the best of the best support services so oh. in gastroenterology we want the cardiology we have the best of the best cardiac support so it is something like that actually which we never imagine like maybe now nowadays we do combined open heart surgery with abdominal surgery same time mm-hmm. in a single go i mean we don't phase the patient to two phase oxar card surgery exactly. we have so see, these are the things that are uh, for big advantage and biggest advantage was like minded people came and joined actually the entire mm-hmm. philosophy of aig hospital was to get full time practitioners in the okay. sense like there is no private practice here mm-hmm. everybody is full time practicing actually it is something like any of the central institutes or any public sector hospitals that you talk about so they are given a platform or a very high platform to work with the latest of the latest technology okay a very good platform and they are given lot of ample time for them to get involved into research other activities in addition to the thing actually mm-hmm. in code map that actually if you i don't know whether you know gopi actually sir um, any doctor actually see even for you actually this could be a passion doing this yeah exactly but obviously you have something else you also you want to do 24/7 oh, suppose you ask me to do the same thing over and over again you get bored about of course so we also seen that actually that actually in addition to the clinical practice doctors have each and every person has got some uh, a different talent which oh. is not exposed mm mm-hmm. somebody is interested in computer somebody is interested in robotics somebody is interested in something else actually yeah so if you give them that given that time that 20% of their clinical time suppose if they dedicate to that the results are phenomenal yeah definitely see like something like actually we had uh, one of our colleagues who was interested in uh, robotics and artificial intelligence so Oh. we made sure that we got ourselves attached to the indian institute of technology and indian institute of science and we created a near uh, a kotta uh, training module that is far far superior to any of the training modules available right now mm-hmm. at almost one third the cost what is available in the west okay manaku andabattlo undo robot yes it is available ma dekka very training fun. module it is something like a aircraft simulator the pilots who get trained in the aircraft okay. they train on a simulator yeah yeah here we train them on the simulators very nice so it's absolutely similar to what happens mm-hmm. so our simulator is far far superior to the others available and also almost at one third the price mm mm-hmm. like a lot of other things uh, are developed in this actually basically with uh, indian institute of science indian institute of technology okay we have students posted from there here mm mm-hmm. so actually now the iit is uh, posting students here mm mm-hmm. so initially what used to happen was uh, surprisingly uh, if you see uh, this is what everybody talks about we have the research is totally separated from clinical work oh so something like initially whatever those people thought they pushed it on to the clinical side to do it actually simple example okay suppose you have a cautery machine okay a simple cautery machine that is developed by somebody and pushed oh. it on to us 
But if the same person comes and works with us, he will have a better knowledge of what is happening. Definitely. I will have a very good example to tell you. Mm-hmm. Actually, we had one of the IIT students who came here into the theatre to watch some procedures. She says, actually, so you take a scalpel and open the abdomen. She says, doctor, this is ridiculous. Actually, in 2021, you should not be using this knife to cut the abdomen. So she has some other idea to cut yeah, the abdomen. Yeah, you understand exactly. what I'm saying? <laughs> she has some other idea to cut the abdomen, actually, yeah. instead of uh, using a knife. Kada. I mean, see, so when these two people come together, the thing escalates at a tremendous pace. Exactly, exactly. Sir. At a tremendous pace. the organ transplantation koda manaki andhuvat lao. Yes. So, elant uh, parasitil lo, Atharavata organ transplantation ante ganka karchudho koodu kundu pani ane edhi manaki andar ki baita pracharam lao na twenty. Yes. Manadagara elant reasonable ga out. Yeah, this is a very good question actually. See, organ transplantation now, it started with kidney. Ante the Procedures stabilize the AAVARKU, the medication, obviously anything that comes into the market first, mm. any product, uh, it is expensive. But once the number of people start using it, it, the prices come down. Like the same way, the medication that I use for transplant, the equipment, the other things that we use for transplant were initially when they came into the market were highly priced. But as the number of users become more and as number of more companies make the thing, the prices obviously come Actually, down. Actually, the importance could have been Yes. So, the, and obviously, see, the, even for the people to make these products because only limited number of people were doing it is difficult. But now the whole concept has changed right now. If you see that actually last few years actually, India has become a medical hub. Actually, we have so many transplant centers across the thing. Okay. So what started for kidney now went on to liver. And now if you see actually India is almost actually we do the maximum number of transplants as compared to anywhere in the world. Heart, lung, uh, pancreas, kidney. Actually these are all the emerging things that are happening Mm -hmm. actually. So the prices will definitely come down. See, I mean what was initially thought to be expensive but I am sure in the days to come with more people getting into the thing, more companies making the products, the prices bound to come down. It so, is man, man the as in today, we have liver, okay. kidney, heart. Uh, the other thing that we have is actually the biggest thing that we have because of the basic science lab, mm-hmm. we have this thing called islet cell transplantation. Okay. Islet cell transplantation means actually we can. Uh, because the sugar control shared and the islet cells are very important. Mm-hmm. So, if we aim to basically this sugar can be controlled either by giving this islet cells from the same person to the same person. Suppose operation just by any reason we have to remove pancreas. Okay. Islet cell transplantation, it's mm-hmm. actually I uh, will be very proud to say that uh, actually we are the AIG is one of the hospitals in. Uh, the only hospital in the South Asia, oh. maybe uh, one of the four or five hospitals in Southeast Asia and about 20 odd hospitals across the world which are doing islet cell oh, transplantation. Oh. Okay. Islet cell transplantation basically is put pancreas and islet cells isolate chesi, ibi mali patient kis taran matter. So if you intend to oxari mouthante pancreas surgery chest number to the bagam pancreas tial susundadi. Tial suchinapudu are the these patients invariably diabetic out our world. So while the changes the manti if these na pancreas, especially non cancerous untedi, TC basic science pump is the isolates isolate chesi mali wala ke chest. Oh. So and so they are not they don't become diabetic. Mm-hmm. The second thing is actually put a lot of actually we have already applied to the government of uh, Telangana, government of Andhra Pradesh. We have done a lot of studies to show that cadaver nunchi, like what we say, as in today, the pancreas from the organ donation program is not being used. Mm-hmm. Cadaver pancreas is unless until the pancreas kidney transplantation becomes active, which we are very sure we are starting it in AIG this year sometime. Upper mm-hmm. kete the pancreas is not being used. So, e pancreas nunchi, a pancreas ni islet cell sees koni, they give it to the patient. Mm-hmm. So, deen valla, the success rates of this treatment 
anywhere in the world or treat almost about 80 to 90 percent. Oh, very fine, sir. So these patients don't, they are treated of diabetes. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that happens is actually put a cadaver in islet cells, it's like any other transplantation, but it's like immunosuppressant. Okay. Like any other uh, transplantation. Mm -hmm. But for the first ever time, we have done research on, uh, because with the government of India approval, we have tested some of this thing. There is a special device or chinna terasite on the dharma. Terasite mm -hmm. is like almost the size of a SIM card. Okay. If this is a special device. We load these islets into the terasite. Mm -hmm. This terasite, surprisingly, it does not allow immune cells. It allows only nutrients. So we load this terasite with islet cells, put it under the skin, and no immunosuppression is required. Super. So it is an outpatient procedure. So, whatever terasite uh, islet cells we get from the cadaver, mm -hmm. we load it into that small terasite. It is almost size of a SIM card. Okay. And under local anesthesia, you can put it into the thing, and then the patient maintains this thing. No need for insulin. No need for any hope or replacement. Oh, very fine. This project actually we've uh, done lot of uh, research work, and we are waiting for the government of India approval to take it on to the patients. Mm -hmm. This is already come into the press actually. So we are hopeful that. Uh, we get the clearance very soon and then we will be able to take this to the thing. Okay. 